Hi, my name is Andrea Lambert, and the name of my story is Don't Be a Menace, copyright. So one holiday in particular, I'm not sure which one it was, but it had to be a holiday because all of our family was over to my grandmother's house. And so the adults, they were into their own thing, doing adult things, and the children were doing children things. So we were playing with dolls and talking like kids do. And so I was talking to my cousin, LaShonda, um, about a movie that I had recently seen called Don't Be a Menace in South Central while drinking juice in the hood. Yeah, I think that's what it was called. But the movie was obviously not for children, so I was excited to tell her about it since I had seen a movie that was out of my age range. And so the movie was really provocative and a little bit violent, but it was a comedy, so I guess that was okay. And so um, I was explaining how it was a shootout at the end of the movie. And at that exact moment, my grandmother was going upstairs to go to the bathroom. And my grandmother has arthritis, so she has trouble walking. But at this time, I was about seven, so she was still getting around a lot better than now. Anyway, so she went to the bathroom, and I'm at the part of the movie where I'm like, and here comes the crazy grandma. And so in the movie, the grandmother pops out of the garbage can. She has like her AK-47s and whatever else, and she's like shooting the people that's driving by shooting at her. And so my grandmother is coming down the stairs at that exact moment. Why would that happen to me? She said, Andrea, what you say? I'm about to come down there and whoop your bleep bleep bleep. So I'm like yelling and like I'm nervous and I'm like, no, grandma, I promise like I'm not talking about you. Like I'm telling LaShonda about this movie that I just had recently seen. And she's like, no. And really, I think she was embarrassed because all the family was there. But where would I get enough courage to call my grandmother crazy? I have no idea. So she told my cousins to grab me and put me over her lap. And I cried hysterically, and she whooped me in front of the whole family for something that I did not do. And so I was upset with her for two days, and I did not go over to her house. I lived right next door to her. I didn't go over for two days, and I didn't talk to her because my feelings were hurt. And so the moral to my story is that life isn't fair, but you just have to deal with it. And just you can be upset for a little bit, but... You have to get over it. The end. That was good.